first of all, there was a business and commercial case to be made. And, and quite frankly, if we look at the, at the business and commercial case, probably one of the most compelling reasons for, uh, for doing the sustainability activities, for participating in it, is the business case of saying that if you do a good job as a company and you're well respected for that, that your chances of getting access to some of the better mineralized areas in the world to develop future mines will probably be quite considerable. And so this is where a number of large companies spend a lot of money to actually understand this better, uh, to, to do a better job on, on sustainability so that they then also have better access to land in the future. There's a clear environmental case that if you do this well, you'll have uh, better environmental protection. Uh, you have a community case where communities are better off if you pay attention to the sustainability issues. Uh, indigenous people will also be better off if this is done right and with the correct input. And finally, the government case, uh, they're probably the most important part of, um, of this is that the government can be persuaded early on that you are doing a very good approach to the project. And therefore, uh, the permitting may be easier than if you were not that closely involved with sustainability issues. So many cases for sustainability, there's, there's a full page, page and a half uh, in the document that I recommend you read to actually uh, look at what these issues are all about. The, the other piece that's extremely important out of this report is this piece from theory to practice. Um, it, it's not a very long or long-winded piece in the report, but it is quite important that that everybody pays attention to this because these are the issues that as engineers or as resource people dealing with sustainability issues, you may find that there are lots of other theories on this topic that other people have and that the practicalities then must really look at addressing and understanding the issues of this bigger community of stakeholders. And, and, and this is where I think we really, as engineers, need to begin to understand a lot better what the issues are with respect to, uh, to considering a new project. What, what are the community issues, uh, what are the concerns? And, and so by understanding that, we, could, we can actually do a much better job. So one of these issues, theory to practice, is equity. Um, is there an equitable treatment of the people undergoing the impact, for example, mining town, mining community, but suddenly there's a new mine coming in, construction period, you have a rapid increase in the population of the area. And, and so is this equitable that these people face, these people meaning the people from the community that we're talking about, face all these pressures all of these other impacts and 
uh, especially if they're not going to also get some rewards out of it. So if if suddenly somebody says, well, you know, you're going to have all the impacts of this uh, of people rushing in, but quite frankly, um, we are going to bring all our food products and everything in from a different community than yours, and so your community may not actually have the benefits out of this. And I, I, I think that's something we have to be extremely careful about, that the people are impacted must also be the people who benefit from an equity perspective. Uh, we've got to look at trade-offs. We have to uh, look very hard at defining all the alternatives and then develop ways of trading off between those alternatives. The need and alternatives uh, discussion is, uh, is of considerable interest as well. And this is the one where people are basically saying that, um, uh, do we need more gold if 80% plus of the gold is going to be used in jewelry? Because some people consider the jewelry part of gold purely as a, uh, as a waste of resources to, to just give people a better, uh, you know, maybe more jewelry, more shiny materials. And that's really not what it is. I mean, the thing that's important is to understand how does that play into the cultural issues? Um, all this gold in India is very significant in terms of the cultural, social issues uh, of people in that area. And whether it's 80% of the gold that goes into jewelry is not important to them because to them, this has got much more emotional power than uh, we can put to it in terms of pure financial rewards. Uh, achieving a whole system perspective important. Uncertainty, precaution, adapt adaptive management. Very important topic in sustainability and, and it'll come up again uh, in our next lecture as well. So we really want to look at at this issue of precaution, the precautionary principle is a major principle under which a lot of designs uh, are expected to be done. And in my opinion, it doesn't mean that if there's uncertainty about the outcome, that the precautionary principle demands that we shouldn't do it. I believe that if there's uncertainty about an outcome, and we have a complete uncertain way of analyzing it and the outcomes can be very severe, then we should start asking seriously whether we uh, should go ahead with that activity. However, on the other hand, if we start looking into the future and we say, um, you know, this is our best estimate of how this material or how this facility will behave under earthquake loading, for instance, or under, under some other types of loading. And that we have, we have some real concerns that there are some other things that may happen as well. So we identify everything that can happen. We make sure that our analysis and our operating conditions will actually allow us to, uh, to forecast the behavior of this. And on the basis of that, we can then set up monitoring and if we see that things behave in a certain way. So it's, it's this idea of adaptive management. We adapt as we move forward. Um, this approach has also been called the observational approach. But the key is 
that in order for this to work, you really need to do a lot of work to understand potential movements, impacts from these facilities um, and how you adapt to that.